I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up Polish president named numbers of tanks that Poland transferred to Ukraine. Poland provided Ukraine with over 260 T-72 tanks of various modifications. According to Ukraine Forum, Polish president Andrzej Duda announced this during the World Economic Forum in Davos. He noted that Warsaw provides significant military assistance to Kyiv. According to him, the value of support for Ukraine reached $2 billion, and these are substantial funds for Poland. Duda mentioned that in the initial phase of the war, Poland handed over to Ukraine all of its pure and manned portable anti-aircraft missile systems, which at that time were in service with the Polish military. In addition, Warsaw handed over a significant number of Crab self-propelled guns and over 260 T-72 tanks in various modifications to Ukraine. The president of Poland stated that the decision to transfer tanks in March last year was made urgently, since at the beginning of the war, Ukraine really needed them. For Poland, this was a very difficult process, since those tanks were not in storage, but were actually in service with the Polish army, Andrzej Duda emphasized. He stressed that the military assistance to Ukraine is a key element in countering the Russian invasion. If we continue sending large numbers of modern weapons for the defenders of Ukraine, the Ukrainians will have the potential to stop the Russian Federation, the Polish president said. He pointed out that a few days ago, he announced the decision to transfer a company of Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine. However, we are trying to organize a lot of support for Ukraine. Therefore, we hope that there will be several allies who will transfer Leopard 2 and Challenger tanks from the UK to Ukraine, said Duda. Patriot anti-missile air defense systems will be put on duty in the Lublin province bordering with Ukraine and Belarus. Mariusz Blaszczak, Minister of Defense of Poland, has announced the deployment of Patriot surface-to-air systems to the Lublin province, according to the Polish Gazeta Prana. This administrative unit borders Ukraine and Belarus, and the reasons to place the air defenses there are fairly understandable. The tragic missile incident which led to Germany's offer to get the Patriots back to Poland. The systems had been deployed there from February till July, approximately. After a long epic of Warsaw and Berlin arguing whether they should give the Patriots to Ukraine, the matter has been sealed. Although, it is yet to be determined if it will be German Patriot SAM stationed in the Lublin province or the Polish ones which have been in process of integration into Poland's air defense system since December 6. At short notice, we have to remind you that Warsaw spent 4.75 billion United States dollars to purchase four batteries, fire units, of Patriot. The Poles have been waiting for these since 2018. That said, the main question is, what area of airspace will these Patriot systems be able to protect from the Lublin province? It would take three batteries to shield a single province, as the range of the system is up to 60 kilometers when armed with MSE interceptor missiles. However, they could use Pac-2 missiles for aerodynamic targets flying at high altitudes. These interceptors have a range of 160 kilometers. But for cruise missiles that fly as low as possible, the radio horizon is paramount. Therefore the range of interception of such targets reduces to 47 kilometers at max. An important detail to take into account is that the Patriots and MPQ-53 radar has an observation angle of 120 degrees. It makes the target destruction especially difficult without covering the Ukrainian airspace. With a reference to Polish Defense Minister Blaszczak, Gazeta Prana says during the incident with an S-300 missile falling in Poland after a Russian cruise missile attack on Ukraine, the rocket entered Polish airspace for only a few seconds, and that is why it would be challenging even for the Patriot to react and neutralize the threat. With that in mind, Mariusz Blaszczak still considers it would be better if the Patriots were deployed to Western Ukraine instead. But for now, on the part of Defense Express, it is unlikely that NATO member Poland will be taking down Russian missiles over Ukraine, though the possibility cannot be ruled out completely.